What's going on, guys? Pegasus and the Wise Guys, and I'm here with Jacob Perry. Yeah. Jacob Perry. Shout out to the locals. Shout out to the locals. They don't want to be on camera, you know. Arm is back his turn. Panda, 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 panda. He's got bras and then no, no, no bras. No bras? Okay. Back to Jacob. Back to Jacob. <laughs> Send all hate mail to Chris, my man. <laughs> new band list tournament. Uh, yeah, new list. Cashier got a very slight slap on the wrist, you know. Uh, slight then, slap on the wrist. Shout out to the slight slap on the wrist guy, yeah. you know. <laughs> and so I had to come in with Sky Strikers to engage. So, uh, oh, and this is a going second Sky Strikers deck. Yeah. Going second, hard going second? Hard going like every second. Every time. Okay. Yeah, hard going second. Uh, and then like for like, Game twos or threes, you know, if I win the die roll, it becomes a lot harder because then they know that I'm going second deck. But if I lose the die roll, it's kind of up in the air. Mm -hmm. But it's, I always assume that they know I'm going second. Oh, Three red. Ham? One rose, one ham. You got to play ham. Purely so deck. Mm -hmm. I got Dragoons on today, twice in the same game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can summon this off of Area Zero, which is insane. So, like, there's plays like with, like, Linkage and Area Zero. You can summon your Hayate, summon this, crash, pop a card, and then Hayate attack, you can send the ray. So, like, it, it gives multiple uses. Just go all the way on. People don't know that. Yeah, uh, Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> not going to lie to you, I don't. I am main decking two Fenrir. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing Fenrir search Fenrir. My reasoning for doing Fenrir plus Fenrir is because I have, gosh, a rise heart Zeus in the extra deck. Oh, so you're just going, so... I can't deal with cashier birth, so I'm just like, okay, I'll cashier your cashier birth. True. Uh, you can't beat him? Oh, Join yeah. him. <laughs> uh, and I have a different mentality of the deck. Um, so hand traps, three ash, three effect fair, and three imperm. Mm -hmm. And so what I do is all I need against uh, cashier is one hand trap. Um, once they summon the level four, one mm -hmm. that banishes top cards in my action in my deck rise up i will yeah i will negate that one because i don't want them to activate shinger eerie if they can't activate shinger eerie they can't make an arise heart if they can't make an arise heart they're going shinger eerie maybe the level four and something else pass that's so that's super easy i can just go summon fenrir mm -hmm. <laughs> make that attack into their defense position xyz make that and it didn't matter how good they opened they can have cash or birth or anything, so I'm fine. You just wipe them out. Yeah. Right. So that's my mentality going against cash or and Nice. So you have to have mentalities. Mm -hmm. um, you have to. These are the only two cards I would say are flex. Oh, sorry. Three cards I would say are flex for. Uh, two Regeki and Harvest Feather Duster. Uh, I just wanted a way to clear the board and then like try to use the linkage plus ray. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. And then uh, I didn't want to do Lightning Storm because I was so super worried about like, you know, thrust, search, Lightning Storm, and I have stuff on the field because I'm trying to push and get them to activate effects. That's my whole like, You want them to actually respond with something. Yeah. And the Lightning Storm can get stuck, I guess. Yeah, it can get stuck. Yeah. And um, a lot of the time I was like set decking one because mm -hmm. I'm like, if I just see the one, I'm fine. Then I just won't go for it. Right. Uh, two thrusts. Mm -hmm. You can probably three. Play three, honestly. It's just really good. Mm -hmm. uh, thrust can search. Change of heart, mind control, thrust. So you can see these with my cashier at hate because when they activate their Shinger Eerie, I take their XYZ, put that over there, attack, and then they finally use got the works for him. They ain't got nothing coming for him. Uh, Talents is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, one terraforming for Area Zero. Rota, search for these. And then Sky Shopper stuff. Three link age. Game. Uh, every <laughs> single time I make people read this card all the time. Is that what's returned? Thousand attack is permanent? Send a card? You also? The sand is also a good. That yeah. actually comes out too. Uh, three Widow Anchor. Mm -hmm. uh, so important. Um, I was actually thinking about like playing two for a little bit. Uh, Are you but, okay? You, you came. You came to your senses. Yeah, okay. yeah. I came. Yeah. <laughs> Not one, but two. Two oh engaged. Oh one and two. God. Two. The best. It, it was like a, it's as impactful as Spellbook of Fate coming from one to two, because you can set it and then add it. So, set with multi roll. Add with Suzuku. 
which is like one of the most important like so you catch them in a resource loop, I guess. Yeah, because if I feel like I have enough cards for their interactions, like I have enough interactions for their cards, um, I'm fine. But, you know, two cards for two cards, I'm fine. Searching three in my next turn. Mm -hmm. Two multi-roll. Oh my god, I love this card. Do you still play two? You oh, think, yeah. think uh, two is correct over the other numbers? Yeah, uh, definitely not one. Uh, definitely two. Mm -hmm. uh, you just want to like be able to use area zero efficiently. And... Like you can also like the Fenrir is really important. So you just go to special Fenrir, add Fenrir, activate multi roll, send away. You can't respond, so then I can do my other things and then special the Fenrir because so many Fenrir is not much mature. So you just keep keep pressuring your opponent until they die. Oh, yeah. um, one area zero. I, I still do the terraforming plus area zero. Because if you draw both, you just set the terraforming, area zero target to set terraforming. And you can thrust in the terraforming. Yeah. I like that. And I like that. Mm -hmm. um, afterburners. Uh, only one afterburners. I don't think you need two. If you're not playing pod desires, you don't need two. Uh, and I never ran into a problem where I didn't have a second afterburner. So. Mm -hmm. Only one chuck in because it's cashier's format. Yeah. Not brain's format. And then one Hornet Drones. Uh, it's got to get hit again. This card is insane. I don't know why people, I've heard some people online, it's like, I don't even think about playing. I want to have one if I. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, even 40. Even 40. Yeah, the only two cards I can ever say is like questionable in this deck is the Tuber Gate Key Harvest mm -hmm. Feather Duster. Mm -hmm. uh, Fenrir is insane. Even I'm side decking the third, and I always side decked it. Uh, extra deck, I was spoiling it. Divine Arsenal. Yeah. It's insane. I never make access code, but you need it. Ningrisu gets rid of the pure league, gets rid of um, Arise. Uh, so I, I had three ways of getting rid of towers. Mm. Which, Sorry, which comes up a lot because right. everybody in our locals has some kind of towers. Oh my god, it's, it's <laughs> annoying. Right. One Nightmare Phoenix because I'm not losing an anti spell. Mm -hmm. The one Zeke, one Kenya, gaining the life points. It's insane because it puts pressure and time to my opponent to do something. I actually really think that's slick. Yeah, like that makes perfect sense too. Two Hayati, you only need two, and that only needed two. Hmm. Um, especially because I'm, I'm um, cashier is nothing. So. Three Suzuku. Send all your hate mail to three. Jacob Perry, all you yeah, cash man. players out there. And, uh, three, three. Keep it simple with those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Side deck is uh, random for us. Uh, yeah. But. Third one for anti spell. Mm -hmm. um, this for purely the Herald of the Abyss. Um, and Avery Max, too. This Lightning Storm because of Labyrinth is a scary deck. and also Bell for Labyrinth. Mm -hmm. um, Ghost Ogre is actually really good. I, I like Ghost Ogre. Uh, it was in the main deck for like a second just because it hits Cashier Birth. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I can't actually, come up, but you don't want it in your deck with Shifter. Yeah, and I actually, I did Area Zero <laughs> target Ghost Ogre. King Ghost Ogre. <laughs> <laughs> to actually get your field spell there. Yeah. So I was, uh, oh, wow. I, yeah. Uh, <laughs> two more. It was bad. Two more. Uh, it's just another way of, of an effect failure and perm. Just uh, taking away their effects. Yeah. <laughs> Period. And perm. Mm -hmm. Too evenly. Um, this side deck is kind of like iffy, I'm not going to lie. But the third red key. And then Jamie Waves. Jamie Waves are just for Labyrinth. Because their trap rotation is really strong. And then being able to like knock them off of that um, means that Sky Strikers can just beat them. For being sky strikers. Well, bro, striker is back. Oh yeah. Engages at two. Fenrir is at three. Fen Fenrir is at three. So. And the pressure is on, bro. Yeah. I, I see. I'm ready to take cashier names. Taking their names. We out.